This episode has been brought to you by onevideo.co.uk. For all your video and editing requirements, visit OneVideo. Welcome to iPad Demonstrations with me, Nicholas Hill. In this episode, we're going to be taking a look at iBook from Apple. It's a free book reader that you can download onto your iPad. The first time you start up the um, iTunes uh, application and go into the uh, App Store, it does prompt you and ask you, do you want to download and install iBook? It is completely free of charge, but it doesn't come pre-installed as standard when you purchase the iPad. The uh, reason behind iBook essentially is going to allow you to be able to read books on the device. The device is perfectly suited for doing that. You have a good good sized display and Apple have developed an application that will allow you to be able to do that quite easily. Be able to purchase books from within iTunes or to be able to copy across and download books that you may already have in an electronic format. There are some supported formats that Apple do uh, Apple do have, and in fact, um, I've got several books that have been purchased on CD that came in an EPUB format that installed perfectly by just dragging and dropping them onto iTunes. iTunes understood them, brought them in, and the next time I synced up my iPad, those books were available for me to take a look at. So let's dive in and take a look and see what we think of iBooks. Okay, so once we've installed iBook, what we can see is that we have um, an icon for it on our desktop. So um, let's fire up iBook and see how it looks when we first go in. So we go into iBook and we can see that we've got a bookshelf, which is obviously analogous with the bookshelf that we might have in our own home library um, and the, the books that we might own and have uh, and have purchased. So. We've got this bookshelf that we can we can move around. Um, when you install iBooks, what you will actually find is that um, you get Winnie the Pooh for free. Um, now it sounds funny, but it's actually beautifully illustrated. It seemed to just be pre-installed when I got it, but talking to other people and my wife, it seemed to suggest that with Winnie the Pooh they had to download that as a book separately. So I'm not too sure about that one, but. Um, it's certainly for free and you can you can obviously download that and take a look. Um, so all I've done is I've just selected Winnie the Pooh and what we can see is by default it's in a format when it's in a landscape that is analogous to a book. We've got the left page and the right page and as we scroll through it we've actually got the book, the text, and the illustrations that come with the book. So everything about the book and as you can see all I'm doing is using my finger and I'm just swiping it across the uh, across the pages and the pages churn, turn. So the other thing which we can do which might be more um, more suitable for using it as a book is to actually turn the iPad and put it into a portrait format uh, whereby you're only seeing one page at a time but when you see the page it looks a lot larger in size because it's filling out the uh, iPad window and um, you're only ever reading one page at a time most of the time you don't need to look at the left and the right page now as you can see I've just been flicking through the pages What's beautiful about this is that we've got the illustrations for Winnie the Pooh here, we've got the text, um, and it really is like having and owning the kids book for Winnie the Pooh. Um, I would think that uh, if you were to sit down and use this to read to your kids at night, um, the illustrations really would make all the difference. The uh, Obviously the colour display allows that to, uh, to really sort of come to life, something which obviously the Kindle can't do. It does obviously have its have its downsides. Um, the battery life isn't going to be anywhere near that of a Kindle, um, and a lot of people will argue that the display is too bright to do any any sort of reading for any length of time. Um, we can go in and make some make some alterations. We've got this uh, the ability to adjust the brightness, so we can take that down and all the way back up. So we can find find some sort of happy medium. Uh, we've also got the ability to be able to um, play around and, and change the font, so we can have that all cap. You know, we can have that basically uh, it's larger and smaller fonts. 
So, and as we adjust the font size, the amount of text that we see on the page changes. We've also got the ability to be able to change and select the different fonts that are available. Um, and mo obviously there, there are only five fonts to choose from here, but they're all designed for, uh, for, for good, clean, easy text uh, to be able to be read. Um, and we can choose between a more modern or an older, an older style, style font. So uh, I'm gonna keep it on um, Times New Roman. We've also got the ability to be able to search within the book. So let's search for honey. So it's searching through, as you can see here, it's performing a search. Um, it's searching through all the chapters and look at that, that's absolutely fantastic. You think you've got uh, a word that you want to, to find and search. Now obviously Winnie the Pooh, everybody who is familiar with Winnie the Pooh knows about honey. So um, if it was chapter five, for example, uh, we, get a, we get a little bit of an, ex uh, of an extract of the uh, text. Um, you would have to find the acorns, but if they put honey, then we can see that that's uh, been capital, um, uh, high, bulk put in bold, um, then Pooh would have to give up some of his own honey. So we can select that and we can jump to that page and we can see it's jumped forward to page 59 um, and it's highlighted the word honey for us here so that we can actually see it. Um, the other thing which we can do, which I think is very, very good, is we can go in and we can dictionary a given word. So again, if you're teaching your kids to read, um, or if like me, when you're reading books, you find that uh, you come across words uh, quite frequently that you don't understand the meaning of, you can select the, uh, the dictionary word and it will pull it up for you and give you a obviously a dictionary entry for that word, hopefully. Uh, and here we can see that honey is described as a sticky, a sweet, sticky, yellowish, brown fluid made by bees and other insects from nectar collected from flowers. Um, so that gives us a description there. Uh, we can also bookmark. So if, for example, this is we're coming across the text, we find something that we want to be able to make future reference to, we can go in and we can bookmark that for future reference. And we can then also give it a color so that when we come across the word piglet, here we can see that it's been bookmarked. So, at any point we can jump back to the table of contents, we can take a look um, and we can resume back reading where we were. So it's really quite clever and quite intuitive as to um, how we're gonna interact and we're gonna use it. We've also got the ability, I'm just gonna turn this back around again, just really to fill the page out. So what we have here along the bottom is the ability to be able to flip the pages as you can see. What we can see is you can see these little uh, dots at the bottom where it's loading in the book um, and getting it into a format because obviously the pages have now changed. Um, so what we can now do is we can slide this slider across and jump to any particular part of the book and be able to, uh, to read it. Um, now what I'm gonna do at this point is I'm gonna come back out into my library and we can see that there are other books in there as well. Now these other books here, 